Hello guys, today I will review a package called JetStrap and it is for those of you who want to use Laravel JetStream with its functionality but don't want to use Tailwind CSS because you're used to Bootstrap. And this package will take the JetStream resources and switch it to Bootstrap 4. Let's try it out. I have two projects, project.test and project2.test locally on my Laravel Valet configured domains and both of them are JetStream. So if you click register, you see a Jetstream powered form. And if you register, it is typical dashboard and typical profile form. Now in project two, I will install Jetstrap. Here's how it works. If we go to the installation, you need to first install Jetstream. And I did it with Livewire, but without the teams. And then I do compose require of the Jetstrap. So paste here and it is installed almost a few seconds. Yes. And then the main command to enable that is just wrap swap. So I copy and paste that. And now I need to run npm install at npm run dev. Okay, it is successful. And now let's refresh our project2.test. So this one, refresh. And as you can see, it's really similar in structure, but looks differently. And if we take a look at view source, the app CSS has bootstrap 4.6. Let me zoom it in a bit. Bootstrap version 4.6. And if I try to register, the form looks a bit differently. I use fake filler Chrome extension. Dashboard looks kind of the same, but more like squares, less rounded corners and more bootstrap look and feel. Profile looks actually almost identical. So if we take a look at project test profile and project two, it's almost identical. The only way how to find out is if you inspect the element, you can see input class form control, which is a bootstrap class. And in project test, you see if you inspect the element, input class border gray, so all the tailwind classes. So from here, you can continue working on the project as bootstrap based, but that's not all that JustRap does. Also, it has presets. So here, JustRap has two themes, core UI, and admin LT, which you can install as themes. It won't generate the full dashboard of those themes, but it will use the styling of them. So we need to copy that into app service provider. So here's our app service provider in the boot. We paste that and we need to add use to that just wrap facade. So on top you have just wrap facade here. And then you can use the theme in CDN way, for example. So in core UI documentation of the theme, the most straightforward way to use the styling of that theme is just get that from CDN. And in JetStream or JetStrap project, you need to look for app layout, I think it is, app blade, resources views layouts blade. And on top, after the main app CSS, you add core UI. And now let's take a look how it looks. We refresh the page and notice a visual difference. So it adds the styling, the buttons, the inputs and the paddings and all of that from core UI. And if you have more ideas on more providers, more presets, you can contribute to that project or raise an issue or contact the author directly. The package is open source and free, so you can contribute. Maybe you want to add Bootstrap 5 at some point, but just as a general switch starting point from JetStream into Bootstrap, if you prefer Bootstrap, this is a great package. If you want more reviews or Laravel tips like this one, subscribe to the channel. And also you can support me and my channel financially by doing one of three things. It used to be two things, but now it's three with the new launch. So quick admin panel generator for Laravel admin panels, which actually includes core UI and admin LTE as well. Second way is enrolling in one of my courses at laraveldaily.teachable.com. And third new way is purchasing my Livewire components kit at livewirekit.com. See you guys in other videos.